awesome people, Bo Jess here, and welcome back to Resident Evil! And in the last episode, we blew the dog whistle, got attacked by the mean freaking dogs. Oh, you son of a biscuit eater. Stop that! And now we're here. And, so, okay, basically what happened is... When I went to go and kill the when I actually killed the dogs, I didn't go and grab that wood plank thing that you make the map out of. My thought was, you know, get to the dogs as fast as I can. I can go back. No big deal. Well, when I went back out this door, that freaking zombie that freaking runs like a madman killed me. Wasn't recording it. He just killed me. And I'm like, I have to do the dog part over again. So I did the dog part over. And I ended up keeping the whistle. But I ended up having to use the combined green and red. Which really sucks, you know. Because I got hurt pretty dang bad by them dumb dogs. So now I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do. I don't know. I'm just that's a zombie. What the hell do I do with it? I need to get probably because that one note that we read said that you needed to burn them to destroy them or they'd come back. Unless I'm mistaken. I don't I don't know. So I want to try to get back to the safe area. Oh, it's zoo. Okay, where's the zombie? I could get this plant, can't I? At least, like, resupply some of my baloney? I'm not doing it. No, I'm not going, I'm not! I don't want the, the friggin' Damn crows, they scare me every dang time I come into this room. Oh, jeez, not that. What is that? Kinda looks like keys up there. Okay. I don't know what the hell to do. I'm so at a loss now. The freaking zombie killed me and I had to go and fight them dogs again. And I'm like, oh, I, I've got... Please don't come back to life. Oh. Alright, where am I? Can I use this door? It's locked on the other side. I can't use that door. Can I go in this room? Because now I have this new key. You use- Aha! Okay. Oh, that's a fancy door! I swear these doors are like your loading screen. What's that? Something written in the corner. Okay. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Oh, but... Huh. What is it? A wooden counter made of oak gives off a pleasant aroma like fine wine. Yeah, but there's something. <gasps> I gotta come back for you, my love. Oh, a piano! An expensive looking grand piano. I'm sure it's real grand. Uh, is that all of us in here? I was like, what the hell is this? What are you doing? Are you dancing? What's that? Can't carry any more items. Okay, so I definitely need to go back to. Okay, I need to go back to my dealie mob. The. I need to find a way back to the. the... What? Oh! Stop it! Oh, I've died so much. What the hell is that noise? <gasps> oh my gosh! But... Like, why are they running? How come they're running? Like, before they were walking and now they're running! I'm so glad you can't push that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I I can really see why this this game's considered like scary. This would be terrifying if I was 10 years old. Like petrifying. I don't think I could play this game at 10. Um I was what well, what was I like 13 when I What is that noise? What is that noise? What the hell? Oh my god, there's more! Go through the door! I don't know what to tell! Oh my god! You're so dead, right? Oh! Oh god, you're alive too! What did- Oh, I have a zombie apocalypse! No! Oh, you guys are slow. Oh, that... You guys are nothing. He fell. Oh my god. Okay, these guys are slow. You guys are pushovers. You, you're a pushover. <laughs> now I'm okay. I'm like, they don't run. They, they, they don't run. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Can I just run past? Oh, I can just run past. Okay, where do I need to go, though? Uh, wait. Is that door, like, still locked? Oh, I okay, wait. The zombies have thrown me off. But yeah, what was I? Like 13 when I played Call of Cthulhu. I think it's 13 or 14. I played Dark, uh, Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth and I, I could barely win that because that game scared me so bad. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Can I go through here? Okay, I don't have that yet. I, I, I don't want to go that way. This way? This way. We'll go this way. This way is probably safe. Right? No? Don't tell me that. Oh. That one sounds fast. That one's fast! No! No, no. Oh, no. Can I cry now? Alright, let's go. Ah, get off me! Get! You're a jerk! And I mean it! Yeah, that's right! What does that say? I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker! Dude, it's Wesker! Wesker's still alive! Where the hell are you, Wesker? I don't remember that note being there before. Now I have to go back and watch, like, my Let's Plays and freaking find I have Wait. Oh, Wesker. I love you. Hold on, wait. I need a box. Marry me, Wesker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I literally just held up a ring. <laughs> Marry me, Wesker! I love you! Alright, I did explain why I had the dog whistle, that's right. I was just gonna say, crap, I didn't explain it. Okay, um, I actually wanna tr- Oh, I feel like saving. I feel like I should save. Yes! Okay, you refilled your canteen. Can I want to know if, if I burn the zombies. Hold on, let me- Let me get everything I need into here. The zombie is back alive, isn't it? Okay, okay, I need to figure out my plan here. And give me a second, let me figure out what the game plan. Okay. Oh, jeez. The tension. 
Like, because the zombies can run now. Oh, I need those. My inventory is like full though, seriously. Large scratches in this wall. It doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. All right, what else do we have in here? It's locked. Old fashioned lock, Rick. That probably needs an old key for that. I still have that other old key I could go get. You know, Chris, your inventory space sucks. It really does. That was actually another comment. Yes. That was another comment that I actually got, um. About, like. Oh, whoops, I didn't read that. These footprints, like. Ah! These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. Okay. Uh, about that Chris, like, has no carrying capacity. Because, I mean, he's got cargo pants, so he's got all these pockets. He's got the, the, the belt thing. And he's got two hands, like, and he can't hardly carry anything. Oh, Junk Run, you crack me up, dude. Oh, what is this? Oh, more fun. Okay, I, I've got to, I've got to go back and put everything away and... I got, I got, I, Chris! You need to learn how to carry stuff, man! Alrighty, let's pick up our green plant. And our red plant. And then we gotta go in... That room over here. What do you mean there's nothing? Yes, I'll take the key. Where's that ink thing? Thank you! I might save my game again. Okay, I can't carry any more items. Uh, I'm fine. Alright! Uh, how did you cut? Those plants up this time, Chris. How did he do it? He doesn't have a knife. What did he do? He smashed it with his gun? Chris, <laughs> you're amazing. Looks like someone took something and then left it in, in a hurry. How would you tell? Very observant man. <laughs> Wish I was that observant. Okay, okay, okay. I want to know if that key works here. Sure. Sure. Let's go in here and see what's in here to kill me. Please don't be a zombie. Is this a lavatory? The water tank smells like something once lived in there. Perhaps some... Someone, perhaps someone was using it to raise some kind of creature. Like a betta. Sure. Very types of fish hooks. Researchers will. There's a letter. June 3rd, 1998. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I sit here trying to think of where to begin. Of how to explain in a few simple words all was happening in my life since we last spoke. And I already, and already I failed to read this letter correctly. I hope this letter finds you well, and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Oh, I'm reading it just fine. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest, Alma. Please believe me that what I'm telling you is the truth. I really love you. Oh. 
The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so accept these things as facts. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who are infected are dead or dying, and the nature of this disease is such those who are still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them into sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even if I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. Inevitable. I still said it wrong. I am infected, and there's no care for what will follow except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you! I knew it. I called it. In an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I am sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Wow, if you say that really fast, really wrong, and don't pronounce that, yeah, it comes out so wrong. Crack horn. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed that dramatic reading. And if you didn't, well, aren't you glad you can skip ahead? You can't carry anymore! I didn't want a bumblebee anyway. Why? Why do... There's a switch underneath. Press it. Nothing happened. Well, I guess I'm going to have to return to my little safe spot, put everything in there, and then come back into this room. But we will do that in the next episode. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I forgot my outro. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know whether you liked it or if you disliked it. And I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna go to bed. Night-night. <laughs>